This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Some leading Democrats are starting to line up behind Vice President Kamala Harris to replace Joe Biden at the top of the ticket for president. Biden dropped his bid yesterday as pressure grew for him to step aside. Hello again, everyone. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Dina Baer. Thank you for joining us. WGN's Judy Wang is here now with more on our top story. Judy. Illinois Democrats are calling President Biden's move a selfless act of patriotism. The list of those on board with Kamala Harris for president is growing. Added this morning, Illinois Democratic Party, Illinois House Speaker Chris Welch and Governor Pritzker. Pritzker says he has spoken with Harris and it is time to shatter the highest and hardest of glass ceilings. Praise for the president's decision to stand down. History is going to remember Joe Biden as our nation's most consequential president and, and really one of our most accomplished leaders. He has a lifetime of public service that's made the country safer and better. A sense of relief is what Congressman Mike Quigley felt. He was among the first high profile Illinois Democrats to call on Biden to pass the torch. I think he recognized that he, he couldn't win and frankly that's, that's accurate. Uh, the second thing was uh, now the real race begins. I, I think that polls come out in the coming days where this is margin of error. And uh, so that's a horse race. We can win a horse race. In the weeks following President Biden's debate performance in Atlanta, several local Democrats joined the list of those urging him to step aside. Mayor Brandon Johnson was not among them, but immediately threw his support behind Kamala Harris, calling her a fearless defender of democracy. Also backing the VP, Bill and Hillary Clinton, Congressman Quigley, Foster, Sean Caston, Brad Schneider. I think uh, moving forward, uh, she is one who can bring the party together, unite the country, and, and make sure we continue to build on the success of the last four years of the Biden administration. Barack Obama's statement did not mention Harris. Initial statements from Governor Pritzker and U.S. Senator Dick Durbin Sunday did not either. This morning, the governor said, Vice President Harris has proven at every point in her career that she possesses the skills, strength, and character to lead this country and the vision to better the lives of all Americans. From protecting women's rights to defending American workers and strengthening the middle class, Vice President Harris is a champion of the American values we hold dear. From Durban this morning, I'm proud to endorse my former Senate colleague and good friend, Vice President Kamala Harris. Our nation needs to continue moving forward with unity and not MAGA chaos. Vice President Harris was a critical partner in building the Biden record over the past four years. Count me in with Kamala Harris for president. Sunday night, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy was not ready to get on board. I want to see what um, others are, you know, who, who else is going to step into the ring today. Um, you know, I don't want to I get out in front of uh uh, you know, the, anybody else who's going to jump in. But all that being said, uh, she's a formidable candidate. Illinois GOP Chair Kathy Salve calls Biden's announcement a culmination of years of lies from the Biden White House and Democrats shaming anyone who questioned his fitness. Republican Congressman Ray LaHood says it has been clear the president cannot serve four more years, but serious concerns remain about whether he can fulfill his duty over the next four months. Back to you.